that last part should be the most important aspect of any IoT purchase decision. But as I found out when walking past the connected home exhibits with a cybersecurity professional, it may also be the hardest bit to investigate. My first stop was at the Sleepace exhibit. This Shenzhen, China-based firm aims to optimize your shut-eye by tracking both your sleep patterns and your nighttime environment with various sensors that include a smart mattress pad. The resulting data may not make an attractive target for a hacker, but Bryson Bort, co-founder of Arlington, Virginia, cybersecurity firms Grimm and Scythe, pointed out a risk that became reality last year, when millions of connected cameras were remotely taken over and used to launch denial-of-service attacks. The challenge with embedded systems, as we saw with the Mirai attacks, is that we have all this computational power that can be misused, said Bort, who spoke on a CES 2018 panel about security. But when we asked what sort of security testing Sleepace ran, sales manager Emily he said that is a good question. Hopefully, the security team actually exists. Our third stop was Shadecraft, developer of a solar-powered umbrella called Sunflower, which tracks the sun and doubles as a smart home hub. The umbrella includes a security camera, a WiFi hotspot, a Bluetooth speaker, and an array of environmental sensors. This is an over-engineered solution, said Bort, noting the vast amount of data a sunflower could wind up collecting. Shadecraft's site was no more informative, a search for security yielded only a link to a third-party blog post. That's a good start, Bort said, but not a guarantee of protection. More from Rob, email rob at rob at, follow him on Twitter at at Rob Guerrero.